Welcome. Today, we will be going through Sophie Germain's identity. Now, before we start, I have a quick question. Is 4 to the power of 545 plus 545 to the power of 4 prime? Okay, so now we will go through Sophie Germain's identity. And this identity is commonly used for integers of the form a to the power of 4 plus 4b to the power of 4, although it works with non-integers as well. So we can rewrite this as a to the power of 4 plus 4a squared b squared plus 4b to the power of 4 minus 4a squared b squared. Now try and factorise this into your favour. OK, so we can rewrite this as a squared plus 2b squared squared minus 2ab squared. Now here we see a difference of two squares. And so you can rewrite this as, yes, a squared plus 2b squared plus 2ab multiplied by a squared plus 2b squared minus 2ab. Now, you may ask, why, why is this useful? Why do I need to know? Well, this is really useful for determining whether a number is prime or composite. So now we will return back to the problem. Is 4 to the power of 545 plus 545 to the power of 4 prime? Now hopefully you'll be able to solve it with Sophie Germain's. Okay. So we can rewrite that as 545 to the power of 4 plus 4 multiplied by 4 to the power of 136 to the power of 4. And we see that that is the left hand side of Sophie Germain's identity. And so it is not prime. And here we see its factors. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and feel free to check out my channel. See you next time.